everybody it's me so what an amazing day today so today I was supposed to go and do a Photoshop job um, at a local uh, horse show place or something um, it's for a friend of mine so I was supposed to do that today but um, if you look out the window um, we are right in the middle of a nor'easter blizzard so, um, we rescheduled the Photoshop thing for a different day. <laughs> so, I am home today, and I don't really have any plans. Um, I was supposed to be on site doing that job today. So, um, since things have been, um, shuffled around, I decided that I would do my tutorial series video today. So I may not finish editing it today, but I'm shooting it today. Um, so all throughout the day today, as um, I have space and room on my phone, you know, I'll be uploading and clearing room and all that. So as I has, have space on my phone, I will be recording. Um, so today, hopefully, I will be finishing the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly spread. Um, here's just an overview of um, what what I have so far. So, um, most of the background is now at a pretty good stage. It's not completely finished, but, um, you really have a sense now of how the finished page will look. Um, I've also gone ahead and done most of the other flowers the way that I've demonstrated them. Um, off camera, I worked on the grass. That's just something that I think that you guys could probably figure out on your own. Um, it's pretty basic stuff here. I just put layers of different green down. Um, so now what I want to work on today to finish everything up, um, for this video series, I want to finish up these little mushrooms. I want to work on the bumblebee. And I also want to do ivy and the bell. And then, um, I, I did some white pen outlines. You see here that this is, th these two flowers look very different. I did some white gel pen outlining here on these flowers. So I will also do that here to show you how I achieve that look. Um, and then the only other thing is I'll start and show you how I do the light beam area, but I'll probably finish the rest of that off camera as well um, just because that will take a long time and once I show you the general technique there's no need for you to sit and watch hours of me doing it um, there's just um, we can move on to another page I think that would uh, better serve our time so um, those are the plan for today um, hopefully I get it all done um, if not it will spill over into next week but um, I'm going to try and get that um, new voted page uh, started, whatever page you guys picked. I'll have to tally up those votes. So, um, without any further ado, I'm going to get started. So, um, I've transferred my new pencils to my old case, and I've picked the same pencils that I'm accustomed to using, so that way um, there really isn't too much of a transition or difference for me right now. Um, so these, this is the basic set that I'm used to having. They're just in the new pencils, um, super fun. So I'm still using a limited palette for this piece. I don't want to switch it midstream. I think that would be a mistake. So um, I will be using the same palette that I've been using. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, let me see here. All right, let me adjust my camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I thought it would make the most sense to pick it up where I just left off. So my last live stream, I was working on this little mushy, mushy hut right there. So um, I'm just going to pick up where I left off and keep going. So I want to do this one next. Um, and since they're all slightly different colors, I'm working on them all individually. But if I wanted to make them all the same color, then I would work on them all at once at the same time. So the first color I'm picking out is PC 930 Magenta. I'm just going to, I'm going to make this guy a little bit more purpley pink than the other ones. 
So I'm going to work on this guy here and just start at the very underside of that cap. And just start the shading process off. Now, since I've decided that the stem is going to be a little bit pinky in color, I am going to then carry that whole characteristic down into the rest of the stem. Now, I'm taking care to shade on the uh, right side. It's because the light is coming from the top left. But now, as I get down into the weeds, as it were, I am now going to shift over and shade the entire stem this color. Because at some point, that light will diffuse from the other. I'm still making the, the right side a little darker, but only just. It's because all these other leaves and things will um, cause some some shadow and then I'm also giving a little bit of that pink color on the stem that's right next to it because it will give it like a since it's right next to each other the red in that stem is pretty vi vibrant so it will definitely transfer to a different spot so I'm just going to kind of work that together a little bit better it out. Alright, so now I'm going to also give this little skirt a little bit more dimensionality. So the way that I do that is simple. I start from the bottom here and I, I start in the dip up, right? And I just flick towards the center and create a stripe. So you continue this then it gives it a much different look. So now let me just touch up this spot here and smooth it out a little better. Okay You'll see with colored pencil, I'm constantly looking and always trying to improve what I see. It's always good to take a step back. And so now I'm going to give the, the base of this cap a light coating, if you will. Just a very light, soft layer of this color. So with this, uh, with the pressure, I'm putting, I'm barely touching the page. And now looking at it, I feel like this little bridge should be going to like a doorway or something. I don't know, but I'm going to get out my Faber-Castell extra small pit pen. This is what I like to do. I like to add things if it feels like it needs it. So I'm just going to add in a little profile of like a doorway or something. And maybe a little window. Okay, so now when I go to color that, I'm going to leave that space. So now I'm, I'm giving a little bit more depth to the, the mushroom cap. Going in still with the magenta and just carefully showing exactly 
where that center is. Okay, so now that I've created that little doorway, I'm going to put a little bit of light. So I'm going to choose a yellow light. I'm picking PC 1001 Deco Yellow. And I'm going to use this just sparingly just around the glow of the door. I'm also, since I'm picking this for the light, I'm also going to use this for the glow inside this window here. And what I like to do when I, when I work on multiples of the same object is I like to work at the same thing at the same time. So now what I'm doing is I'm creating a little light beam. I'm just doing this freehand, I'm not using a ruler, but because it's smaller, it's a lot less worrisome, and you don't have to get it perfect. So I'm just layering this yellow down, just to reserve the area that I want to be for the light. It sounds like my little kitty wants some attention. I might have to stop and check her out and play with her a little bit. Okay, so now you can see this yellow light better. Okay. Yeah, hold on. So I'll be back in just a bit. I'm going to um, occupy my little kitty until she's sleepy. I'll be back. Alright, everyone. So... Sorry about that, I had to help out my little kitty and make sure that she got in her playtime. So, alright, so I was working on this little mushroom right here. So I'm going to go in with PC926 Carmine Red. Just giving the shadows a little more depth. Richness of color. Now I'm going to go in with PC 1008 Parma Violet. And it is really coming down today. It is very snowy. They actually say it is technically a blizzard. So I am not going anywhere today. I was supposed to go and do a job. But that is not happening. Not with this weather. They say, so they've closed the roads. They say to stay home. Okay. So I'm putting Parma Violet away. And I'm grabbing PC. 932 Violet. Working in layers. Just gently taking my time, giving dimensionality. Using my knowledge of where 
The shadow should be because the light is coming from this direction, so the shadow should be in that direction. So now, I think what I'm going to do is a, like a pinky purpley top. So I'm going to, for the sake of unification and um, making everything feel like they belong together, I'm going to use the same color PC 932 Violet to give a little bit of shadow and dimensionality to this. I don't know what this is, this goopy, drippy stuff. So I'm just going to give a little bit of value shading. On the very top of that cap there. And now I'm going to swip swap over to one of my favorite colors, PC 930 Magenta, and I am going to go over that same color and everything else with a light touch of this magenta color. So again, I'm working in layers. I want my little goopy bit to feel a little more pink. So I'm going to keep working it over until it gets the desired redness. And then I think I'm going to go over it with the white pencil. So I think maybe another layer. Yep. But it's a little too dark, but that's okay because now watch, when I put the white pencil over it, it will change it. So I'm going to start where the light source is. And I'm burnishing at this point, pressing hard. Maybe leaving a little tooth of the paper if I want to add a little something later I can, but at this point really trying to get the white mixed in with the pigment. And you can see it changed the color. And that is just the color I was looking for. I'm also going to do the same for a little bit. Just on the bottom area. Just to kind of tie it together. Blending it. So I quite like those two little mushrooms together. So I think I'm going to do the windows. I'll show you that. I think I'll do little brown windows in this house. Ooh. So I picked terracotta. That's PC944. Okay, and I'm going to use that same color on. See, what's nice is I already put white gel pen down a while ago, so it's been dried for a while. So now I can also show you how I go over the white gel pen with the color. So I take this and I make it look like that, and you just saw I just had 
the white gel pen go over it, which I will show you how I do. Now I think this is a separate little room and I want that window to be dark. So I am going to take PC 933 Violet Blue. And again, the, the beam of light is going in this direction, so I'm going to take my colored pencil and just go in the same direction as the beam of light. Now also creating a cast shadow. And maybe deepening up the shadows right under this cap here and the skirt. And voila! That little mushroom is ready for white gel pen now too. So I am going to do the other two and then let's gel pen all three at the same time. But for right now I'm going to take a small little break and we will be right back. Okay, so the, I just did this guy. I zoomed in a little and, and this one is in, you see that? So I want to do him in a brown color because he's in the beam of light first with um, PC1 to cover a goopy bit. That is covered. Long time being real careful. Swap over the 937. <clears throat> and in this brown, bring out the fact that it backlit in the sunlight. And now I'm going to PC 944 and just cover the bottom part. Anywhere they need a layer or so. And now I'm going into the mushroom stem. Same color. Okay, do the same way. So I'm going to oops here. And voila. Underneath of it. And then to right of the. I still have a little cough, but I am improving every day. This bitter cold that we have not helping, so I'm just clear off my car, but the exposure I'm going for today, okay? Extremely zoomed in is the track of where I am. So sorry about that, guys. But I wrecked myself pretty quickly now. Got back over and with PC 1007. Not yet burnished together as I do it by or circular it really feels like these two because they do because one is part of the gonna richen up this one and now bring in <coughs> the nine barricada this stuff some more to miss okay so sometimes I travel you see the snow outside it's Arctic wonder here now. It is like Wonderland outside. Hey, so this is already starting. I'm still using PC 940. Shadowy spots. I'll color up into the cap. So now to <coughs> in a brown color, PC 908, dark green, 
Just start at the bottom. If I don't like it, it'll. It's a nap. Yeah, but I like it. Okay, so now I have to descend. I think it's done. I'm gonna change. That's done. Should I just. Bottom of that, and we. I'm gonna come back in. A P8 white together. So blending the green and the browns and the red and the pink and pink. Which blending all that together. Also to up top. Just bring all the colors together. Way to do that is by blend circular. Now I'm going to put in an up and down because texture being vertical.
10 minute recording and to start a fresh video. Light to the stem of a family. At this point is done as well. Shroom that we have right over here. Um, for that little guy, I think I want him to be brown, but maybe a reddish. Let me see. I want this to be a little bit more, um, yeah, I like the color. Some mix, egg, and maybe a uh, green green. Alright, so I'm going to start from... I think the spring green stem area, so I'm going to work my way up. So I have 913 green, and I've just covered the entire big stem. So I avoided purple. I'm going to cover the entire color just to foundation for what is to come. Okay, then now I'm going to come back down and PC90 dark green. I'm going to come in and lay on the right side. And step thingy here. Right side and then the step. As you get higher up, bouncing around everywhere to the thingy, I think the line is quite enough. And then a little bit of a right mushroom cap, like so. Cute, I like the two color in the green. More on the greenish side, bring in some brown, so I'm going to take four terracotta. I'm going to uh, brown, put it over the first. And then I'm also going to use the color underneath the So the little colorful mushrooms, but keep them in how I approach them. It's under the goopy bit. To this 937 to the purple, I'm going brown and just quick little half moon kind of on the like a bounced shadow kind of a thing. Be precise, you can. And I'm also, I guess, ex the mushroom like so. Now I see 1001 salmon paint. I'm going there with that color over the brown. That shadow that I created. Okay, and then I use this salmon paint as the base for mushroom color. Just the base I think I want. The same family, the same color. But then I'm just going to add, this is very similar, add this PC26, and you want to light, start at the base, it, no big deal, it's hide it with something else, it's less obvious, but I like this color, so I'm going to the, what would be the, the middle, just gently, sure, being just a little layer in red, beautiful, a lot to differentiate from this guy. Take it to another level to go back in with piece of ricotta. Come down and this here. Also right under also this PC spring green and door work. The door frame PC944 to create cap. Um, to the window frame. Okay, so coming along, I'm going to take a short I'm right back.
kind of hope you didn't know it really wasn't. Stopped and stopped. So now for the reading, but now seeing this, I'm pretty sure I want little wooden steps with the same color of the piece of water. E and sometimes sigh. And here I'm just not even trees. Elf and having, which is what it. And then after that, on e color, so I'm still using. T I'm just gonna use strokes. Just stripe out the top of the stuff. This is an easy trick. You can a wood grain texture. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I also want a little bit more puddle caps, so I'm going to take C926 quite a lot. And for this little green color, red color will really. Boom, don't need to add a lot, just this is all it takes. And all of a sudden, it's much more drawn, a little mushroom there. Now that those little guys are all colored in, I am going. Um, I'll Button up the bot and then let's uh, the white background. All you really at this base work already, so I'm gonna 908 and I'm going to come in and just at the behind all oh, this a little bit more with this dark green. What this does, it just creates it pops the bird. You don't have um and working your way up is the way to go. And you can see it makes the from out any areas that I of extra oomph. So you can even progress almost the same set in and do this after. And it just gives it a lot more. Looks pretty fairly. So I just want to come in. These beams of light, I want to do start on my uh, gel pen. So PC905. And this is the color beams of light. Make the beams of light look trans. So you can see here, here's a background of the sky. I'm just going to carefully extend and carry it on again here's another using only string parallel to the beam in directional feel and a soft touch making sure it is white now when it comes down a little bit of contrast so i'm just very in it is still than the surrounding end up the white light now you do a beam of light. So I will come treatment over here. I'm going to actually let it fade in. As if the light is too strong. I do want there to be sun around these little mushrooms. Now how that blue over there is beam of one. I can do a shade avoiding the the is actually the light coming that little hut. So now all I wanna do on this page I do well lip lip first so with this aquamarine the edge, harsh, just sort of go the layers blend together. Doing that, soften up the look of it. So I'm going to take a quick video into segments.
Alright, me? No. Um, he's going through softening. Bigger is just blue sky. Not a whole lot of cloud area. You can get away with just leaving it. Um, it is a very bright plate. Intention was to really kind of um, this text to be on this part, which is really nice. And it also a large part of eight, which is always the space of the paper. More dimensional. So you can see this and softening up that edge, putting it into the white. And it gives it a fit instead of just shape. And I, if you need to, that gen. Just bringing that soft off weight of the beam of light. So I'm going to next to Mr. B here. Now I'm drawing right through the lens. I'm actually going to worried about them being. Now that will Mr. B be fun. And he's going to be what my demonstration. I still work to do. Camera. I need to see every little last thing where you can figure how to draw leaves out. Oh, so now up into this area. And what's exciting means I can really do stuff. Hold off on because okay. So now here's just some clouds and they definitely. Through. So again, action as the beam of. And that's just like I've been doing with it. You have it. And now it comes through here. The same thing. And where it might come out. Make the light look transparent. Alright, so open up this little spot right here. Probably, maybe back to B, just a little. Okay, and now is up green color anywhere that I kind of guess eh, if it's covered you know if, if I'm not things are supposed to guess. okay so now puppy just starting to come out so I'm going to do the bum do the white gel pen now that we're ready for that <clears throat> so um white gel pen mini ball gel pen you grab a paper handy I like to use my sketchbook a scribble a gel pen until once it's ready. Once the ink moves, and go ahead and like put this in the most. Eye. And then I, as we were start out, obviously I, it, this spot we need to be plain instead of be black. Now be stuff because it is in the. And I'm also going to put some dots. I like doing this. One right here, because that one's down. And I think all out to me. So I'm going to put some along the skirt bottom. Some of them I do it. Some of them. And then edge there. So now here comes a tricky a shadow. White gel pen for some of feed out. All right, so there, let's go to the next one.
Okay, I'll this little guy here. So first I'm put some white dope. I might have some white Oop. and for whatever reason it up so you can always fix it by your sketchbook or whatever. Go ahead and reprime it properly. So then this guy put a white gel pen on top of this window. And this here. And that thing there. So the skirt. And again, if you're not start with the obvious, and then the obvious happens as you go along. You decide before you. Kind of what feels right, and you should you do quite well. Mess up. You can always take a pen and. Really no mistakes here. You're thing. Now here's this beam of wood kind of to indicate that there's maybe out the window. I don't know. All right. So then I throw in some white gel along. Maybe dress like so. And I'm also going to get each the maybe Get into the shaft to just the top and the, and the clear. Maybe just dot it and say. So let's also turn them into white dots and black dots. Let's do the same with these stars. Fade a little, replace wherever they are. Once I do it in one look intentional, I like to keep it consistent. Okay. And show you what we've here. Touch that gel pen until it dries. Add some color over top of it until it dries it and really um, becomes finished. I'll also show you how flower and some of. So here I have. Well, I finished off the. I'm waiting until I finished off the beam of light before. It's quite a lot of that. Light. It is done. I'm just going taking that outline. And we just drawing right on. Now I do leave some of the black is that where like in here where it goes dark. I leave that black outline there. there. It stands out and where it looks taking it out. I can all I, I would rather look too over it with pencil. But it looks hard to work with. I take other so already makes it look much and I have any touch up work. Okay, so this set here, so I'm gonna leave a nice treatment of white is in the direct beam of surrounded by light. Also, is um, this I'm going to add more to? We'll leave that the way it is. See how it's actually once you get going, intimidate you.
I enjoy even change the shape of flower if you so that you can make it I'm just sticking with what her shapes are beautiful and just all not most every dark outline with this white pen and this can take you do it right um but the end realistic type so if that's something I would recommend getting it a try however just quite a long time to get the effect and you can't leave it half once you start you really have to keep in mind So, little dots. I feel like they make it look a little. Those with the white gel pen. Any little areas will get covered. Just sort of trying to bring the whole entire. And so, now I'm connect this a little better. And I can go. With the line work, get rid of some of the line. So you make this pen. The end result is quite. So next up, I think is the bumble. Lines dry. Well, actually, so that I'm going to let them dry for quite a bit when all of those completely dry. See you guys soon. Okay, Spee. 
make him the expect um just because this look I'm gonna start out for 35 black I'm not trying to get the design I'm just of color see the paper and also just to, like no need with that away. I think I want his eyes to be black. I'm just gonna go ahead. Give a moon shape to his legs, which I feel as well, but maybe leave a little or whatever this is. Get white to indicate Alright. So I think if I recall, I feel these have like yellow heat, and so I think I'm gonna look so a little bit, but still, it's obviously not the desired dark. Any further, I'm going to 9:45 Sienna. I don't know if you can 9:45 Sienna Brown. Well, halfway up the bumblebee, maybe I think where the black. It's the same brown on the border. And then I think also will be black. Will be black. yellow stripes comes to me All right and some yellow in there up first with PC spam and I'm gonna take across straddling the line between brown traveling white again here now I'm just doing underneath where there's their shadow That bumble line. Now I'm going to PC near yellow and go over. You notice that I'm allowing the direction directionally, same direction, like fuzziness. I want him to be vivid, and that's why I'm layering several layers. <coughs> I'm to go over it with. How nine forty three aren't ochre? I'm just going with stro strokes, sort of, basically. Making sure to go into the. Okay, and now black again. That's P5. Focus, focus, black. Anyway, I'm gonna come with just makes them feel so much okay before I go any further with the shape because I'm really liking our I want to saddle and all that in context how I gotta go. So how dark I So I'm gonna use the same color I was using to use 05 Aquamar for the So I'm gonna start just the basic outline.
do to make the wings look trim? Can you go on through? So you see, look like so. That you make it look transparent. So this is the black D935 black, and I'm just going to play. I'm gonna draw through where I think complete the picture, right? Now all of a sudden it looks apparent. Well, both really. And to finish it off, let's so let's do this, this PC for terracotta color. And then this will really play yellow you find already in the thing. Just to give the wing a punch, now that I together slowly, the PC905 walk. Just, I'm gonna come in with the pen and do the black with the white pen. So I want something for, since the paper is white, I think what I also want, like, coming from here, so I kind of like the, the bar sort of blocking the, looking less light, like a streaky effect. Do you be the body of the baby? Is actually more light. He gets a behind him. Get that out. So it's kind of like through each in the composition. You got what might happen, interact with other things, interacting with the beam of But I feel like he's a part of that more. Do that a little bit to other things. So into the flower. And this leaf. All of a sudden, <clears throat> all of a sudden, the objects that I'm interacting with the background, objects that Joanna Basford are interact created. That's what I meant to say. You can see how all of a sudden, just starting to really functional. So I'm going to do the house now that I like. It. leaves here so I'm just going okay, and then same here just right after the flower just noisy let it brighten up just sort of you see how just be like a little bit of a light it all of a sudden like he's in a part of it so now oh, I think I want to put turquoise there. I want to put a little of that in his eyes. Seem weird, but I also just kind of, again, getting him ready fully. Anywhere else, I can fix that later, but here it snugs up to that where you want it to be polished. Alright, so he is going to get some he's going to get some black mark first actually. To use a favorite cat pen. Okay, hold on, I'm going to break in one moment.
Okay, so I'm going to use a small pip pad. Just come in and make and more text. I'm going to start first. Seems like he only has, he's only given him little fuzz. So just do the same thing. Just get fuzzier way. And over the full, kind of gives the pop. Fuzzing it more or all right, he's starting to. Um, I think also down here. Little things. Yeah. No, I think it's time for get the uni ball sick white water is priming it. Doodle around. Now I'm going to just just where the light would be. I might have to definitely go with pencil. I don't know if I actually want it to be but I don't either. So there's that. So what I do is I, I go over it again. It won't be white. Bumblebee. Move his wings white. Bumblebee. Comes through these way. Gel pen goes just takes the card quickly. Makes it look. So now I'll go over it with other. But for right now, they're hanging in there, and he for action. So now I'm going to go. This page is just about finished. Just touch up details and shame. And then that one will be ready to move on over to this one. This one I've colored a couple. Um, This is the only one with the... And I wanted to make it next to Ivy. I'm going to make Ivy's draw. So I wanted her to stand background as blue. I didn't want her to just blend in. If I were to make her meant to... Is right next to. Then we would have some there with the color scheme. I hope with this... Um, so I've already changed for a flower next. And now what I'm doing, I'm kind of poking around and what color I want to use for the, um, for the dress. And I think I'm um, the dress first with a PC902. And, and do a layer. This is a very so it make it dark. So really on for right now, but that can be difficult to. You can and that's a little easier. I prefer to work this way because it's much richer and a few layer pressure colors together. Just looks very. I'm going to use PC burnt ochre and I'm just going to shadow layer to her where there would be a shadow. Pay attention the right, right? So her hair would have some shadow. The area, her nose, of course she'd have a some shadow on her arm. And of course, the dress on her. The like, great lips. And you can always cover with foil. You can do that. Alright, now that'll do. Now, what I'm going to do. <coughs> See.
Okay, so right now what I'm gonna see where one I go over now all of her skin including color just now. Sure. Let me go ahead. Hair. So I think hair in the shack PC I think there should be shadow down. Oh. So now I'm going to give me 43 and just solidify a bit. It says it's a gold. Go through then and with three burnt ochre. Then the golden rod. Go over that. Kind of fuzzy. Shadow under the and there's a finishing touch line. Outline this with pen as well. Let's give it a little hair and then also give color three with PC eleven. Go yellow. I'm also going to just color that there with the golden rod. Here we go, golden rod, PC Okay, that little ribbon, the branch. I've been debating it, and I think it should be. I'm gonna make it PC903. And this is the contrast between flow and the and I just love this color. Okay, so I'm gonna take the same true blues all over again, but then instead of the ultramarine, it ties the dress and the ribbon. Even though they're different color of that color. And then just any spot you evenly or just need a near depth again You're towards the bottom where I feel like
and also just under the hair where it would be creating a shadow. So I like that color blue. I'm really starting to be pleased with it. I think I'm also going to do this little flower blue to keep her outfit kind of consistent. So I'm going to do a blue tipped white petal flower with a blue center. Just as a final little finish, um, I'm going to use this Goldenrod PC1034 on her hair, just in the sunlight, in the spots where the light would turn it a golden color instead of just a plain brown. I will get rid of some of my own black outlines. Maybe richen up this a little bit more. There we go. So I do want to get rid of some of my own black outlines, so I'm going to take the white gel pen. It's the same one I've been using, so the Amy Ball Signal uh, white brand. Just real gently get rid of the lines that are standing out, the ones that are in the sun. So I'm giving my new doodled in work the same gel pen treatment as Joanna's work. And this helps sort of tie both together. And make it more uniformly. Approached. So whatever I do to Joanna's lines, I do to my lines. So that makes sense. So, in the end, she is rather cute. 